YouTube, Rebecca here with my weekly vlog on being a big sister. So this week, my little sister and I uh, spent our hour at her school, part of the in-school mentoring program. And this, this time, there's a lot of high energy with the, my little sister. And so this time we were playing around in the gym first. So we had the wheelie boards out, we were swinging each other around, a little bit of dance party, lots of hanging on the chin-up bar and dancing around like uh, gymnastics, super fun. And then we sat down to make our um, shopping list for pizzas because she said she'd really like to make mini pizzas. And so I said, okay, well, let's make our shopping list so we know what we're gonna need. And of course, as it turns out, we both love ham and pineapple pizza. So that's really cool, we share that. And then after we were finished our shopping list, I asked her, you know, I was trying to tell her about my future plans because I'm going away on vacation. And I said, okay, so I'm not gonna be here this week and I'll try to reschedule the next week so that, you know, we wouldn't miss as much time uh, together she was kind of bummed she's like oh that means we're gonna miss two weeks in a row and so i said well let me see if i can reschedule this one and then i started asking her about languages because i said you know is there any languages that you want to learn or that interest you and she said well she'd love to learn french and i had told her i'm like i am planning a trip to france in april and you know that's really exciting and so i thought okay so why not i, I want to learn french too or i'm sort of continually or seems to be perpetually learning French over my lifetime and so I pulled out my phone and I want to be careful with how much I use my phone in our interactions because really it's all about her and me and I want her to know that I really care about her and I'm there to spend time with her not necessarily have a screen in my face however in this world we live in there's a lot of really cool things that this screen can bring so I thought I'd give it a try and I thought, okay, so I pulled out my phone and I loaded up the app called Duolingo. You may have heard of it, I'll link a, a link below. And basically it provides learning on any, any language you could possibly want to learn. It's amazing, I've used it so far for Spanish and for French, and it's been really good. And so I was testing, so, so my little sister and I were trying it out on the French version. And I had done some of the tests already, so I had sort of gotten it to sort of a medium level. And so I said, okay, well, let's try this. And so I had her sounding out the words in French and then try working to translate them. And she did really well. I noticed that with the app, uh, as you guys may have noticed, there's a little microphone in the keyboard that allows you to use diction, which means that you just verbally say the word and the phone or computer types it in for you which is really interesting, totally cool. I love technology, I'm a big fan. And so in this case though, I realized when she was about to hit the button for the microphone, that then she wouldn't have to spell out the word. And I really wanted her to sort of have practice doing that in terms of learning the word and then sounding it out and spelling it out. Cause that's, you know, all part of the, the challenge with languages. So I, yeah, so I said, oh no, no, I don't think that works or whatever. And I said, let's try to, to spell it out and sound it out. So we sort of sounded it out. She did very, very well. I was really impressed uh, with her knowledge. They, they were giving us French phrases. Uh, for example, uh, la femme et la fille, or une femme et une fille. And you had to translate that into English. And so she was doing really well and we had some fun with that. So I think we'll maybe we'll try that again another time because that's sort of something we're both really interested in. And uh, yeah, just really, um, really great to spend time together. And like I said, to sort of uh, bond over a mutual liking of ham and pineapple pizza. I know there's a lot of people in the world that have serious issues with uh, pineapple on pizza. Anyway, you can comment, comment down below if that's a, that's a thing. Anyhow, uh, once again, I'm volunteering with Big Brothers Big Sister Fraser Valley in their in-school mentoring program. I am very grateful to be a big sister and to have this opportunity to build this friendship um, with this little person in my life. It's pretty amazing. And I'll, I'll link below to Big Brothers Big Sisters. And again, they have two programs. One is in-school mentoring, which works great for me. It's one scheduled hour per week at the um, Little Sister School so I can schedule it in. I just show up for my hour. We've got our stuff usually planned ahead of time if we're doing something extra special like cooking. 
and uh, spend that hour together just sort of hanging out and talking about life and all kinds of things. And it's really neat to get a, a, a younger person's perspective. So I'm really grateful for that. I'll put the links below. Thank you so much for watching. Hit like if this was at all interesting to you. Maybe comment on my background. I changed it up this time. And also, if you're interested in seeing how this goes for us and for me, uh, click subscribe. I will be posting every week to see, to sort of illustrate my feelings on this being a mentor as it's my first time. And this does run to the end of the school year in June. So thanks so much, YouTube. Thanks for watching. Hit like, hit subscribe, and we'll see you.